Hi, my name is Claudia and I am a peer health educator for Student Health Services. Today, I'm going to go over three out of the five circles of sexuality. The circles I'm going to cover are sensuality, intimacy, and sexual identity. Before we begin, I want to quickly go over Student Health Services' new hours and protocols. The SHS is open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday for appointments, but you can access telehealth services Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please call the SHS at 562-985-4771, explain what services you need or concerns that you have, and the front desk will either schedule you a time to come in or a time for a telehealth appointment. I have also included the number for behavioral health services, sexual health counseling, and the after hours nurse line. Also, at the bottom of each slide, we have the student health services phone number and the counseling and psychological services number. I recommend that you write these numbers down in case you wanna reach out at a later time. Sexual health is an extremely important topic that can be overlooked or lack key components. Understanding sexual health is a natural part of life, and it includes so much more than just sexual behavior. By the end of this workshop, my goal is that you know more information on how to access sexual health information and care, how to communicate sexual health with your partners, and how to experience sexual pleasure, satisfaction, and intimacy when desired in a healthy way. I'm going to introduce some activities throughout this presentation, and you can either have a writing utensil and paper to follow along with me, or you can do the activities on your own time afterwards. Sexuality is more than just sex. It is an important part of who a person is and what they will become. It includes all the feelings, thoughts, and behaviors of being male, female, neither, or other, being attracted to others, and being in love, as well as being in relationships that include sexual intimacy and physical sexual activity. The first circle of sexuality we're going to go over is sensuality. Sensuality involves our level of awareness, acceptance, and enjoyment of one's own and others' bodies. It includes physiological and psychological enjoyment. Skin hunger is a big part of sensuality. Skin hunger is the need to be touched and held by others in a loving and caring way. Some individuals use intercourse to satisfy skin hunger, but intercourse is not always what someone needs. Sometimes we get our idea on sexual intercourse and sexual behaviors from porn, but porn can create unrealistic standards for how sex should be. Porn should be used for entertainment, but it should not be used for education. Many people have different fantasies, kinks, and fetishes. A fetish is a sexual fixation on an object or act that is necessary for sexual gratification. A kink is a broader term that encompasses sexual interests, preferences, or fantasies. It is normal to have fantasies, kinks, and fetishes as long as both parties consent and it is within legal boundaries. Another aspect of sensuality is self-exploration and masturbation. It is normal if you decide to masturbate and it is normal if you decide not to. Masturbation relieves stress, boosts the immune system, burns calories, relieves muscle tension, and relieves menstrual cramps. It is important to understand your own sexual desires and pleasures before acknowledging the needs of partners. Now I'm going to show you a quick activity that can help you understand your own sensuality and explore what you like and dislike. Please draw a rough outline of a body like you see in the slide and grab your colored pencils or pens. If you do not feel comfortable doing this activity now, you can always do it afterwards. This activity is a way to tap into our personal desires and needs. I want you to color, shade, or mark the areas on the body outline that you like to have touched, and then mark the areas on the body that you don't like to have touched. The second circle of sexuality is intimacy. Intimacy is the degree to which we express and have a need for closeness with another person. This includes caring, sharing, loving, risk-taking, vulnerability, trust, and more. It can be hard for individuals to know when they're ready for sex with a partner. Sex is a way for individuals to express love, 
give and receive pleasure, and learn about yourself and others. Saying that, it is personal and creates vulnerability. Only you can determine when you want to have sex at any time, even if you are in a relationship. You can ask yourself questions like, how will you feel about yourself after? Is it a good idea to have sex now with this person? How will you feel about your partner after sex? And can you talk to this person about protecting against pregnancy and STIs? It is also your choice to not have sex, and it's okay to decide to not have sex for a while. Pay attention to your feelings and give yourself the time and space to make those decisions. Before jumping into a relationship, it is important that you build up your self-worth before becoming emotionally available for a partner. To have true intimacy, you must open up and share your feelings and emotions. By building up your self-worth, A breakup or the ending of a relationship will be easier to handle. A big part of intimacy is healthy relationships and partner communication. In a healthy relationship, both partners are treated with kindness and respect, are honest with each other, like to spend time together, take interest in things important to each other, respect each other's emotional, physical, and sexual boundaries, and can speak honestly about feelings. Consent should be freely and enthusiastically given in any situation, and it can always be revoked. You should not feel bad for saying no, and it is important to communicate boundaries and concerns with your partner. There are many different kinds of relationships, and talking about what kind of relationship you want with a partner prevents miscommunication. Love, commitment, and sex do not always go hand in hand. Sternberg's triangular theory of love has three components, intimacy, passion, and commitment. Intimacy is feelings of closeness, passion drives romance, and commitment is the decision to maintain love with another either short-term or long-term. Within these three aspects are the different types of relationships. There are relationships that are committed and non-committed, friendly or romantic, sexual or non-sexual, and monogamous and non-monogamous. Communicating what you want and do not want out of a relationship helps you and your partner have a better understanding of one another. You should be able to establish boundaries and needs with a partner. Asking questions regarding STI status, birth control, safer sex precautions, sexual pleasures, sexual desires, and sexual boundaries helps to establish understanding and communication. Online dating has also become a large part of our society, so let's go over some tips on how to safely navigate online dating. Dating apps have helped to remove the traditional barriers associated with meeting new people, and they help connect you with individuals you may have never met otherwise. Right now, a lot of people are having virtual dates. You can set up a virtual picnic or a virtual movie date. If you decide to meet up with someone in real life, meet and stay in a public area. Plan your transportation beforehand. Don't share your location with them. Stick to messaging in the app and do not share any personal information with them. Once on your date, gauge how you feel and if the date starts going downhill, there are a number of things that you can do. Set up an exit plan ahead of time, such as creating a code word that you can text to a friend or telling your date that you have a bad stomach ache or need to wake up early so that you can leave. It can also be good to be honest and say that you do not feel a connection with the person to prevent leading the other person on. If you do not feel safe or comfortable doing this, make sure that your excuse does not allow them the opportunity to help you. For instance, if you say that you need to leave because your stomach hurts, they might offer to drive you home. Create an excuse that helps you get out of the situation quickly and easily. Online dating can be a great resource for connecting with others, but remember to stay safe and take precautions. Like we talked about before, it is important to have open communication with your partners. This includes boundary setting. Setting boundaries is not just limited to partner relationships, but setting boundaries in all your relationships promotes healthy ones. This is a short activity to help you think about boundary setting. First, I want you to think about or write down what you think a boundary is or your definition of boundaries. Then, please write or think about an example of a personal boundary and an example of a boundary being crossed. 
So a boundary is a line, a limit of subject you are willing to talk about, or a limit of things you are willing to do. An example of a personal boundary would be, I prefer that someone ask to borrow my things before taking them, or I do not like to hug people unless I know them well. An example of a boundary being crossed could be if someone you didn't know well came up and hugged you, or if someone took a shirt of yours without asking. Everyone is entitled to their own set of boundaries, and setting boundaries is an important part of all relationships. The third circle of sexuality is sexual identity. Sexual identity is how we perceive ourselves as sexual beings. This includes biological gender, gender identity, gender roles, and sexual orientation. It is helpful to know the difference between gender and sex. So sex describes what someone is assigned at birth based on their genitalia or biological differences, while gender refers to a social construct based on traditional male or female roles in society. Individuals may not be educated on the aspects of sexual identity, and this creates stigma and misinformation. Individuals of all sexual identities and expressions should be treated the same way that everyone else is because there is no normal. To better explain sexual identity, I want to go through the gender unicorn with you. You can pull up the gender unicorn at www.transstudent.org gender. The gender unicorn incorporates gender identity, gender expression, sex assigned at birth, physical attraction, and emotional attraction to show all the different parts of sexual identity. Gender identity is one's internal sense of being male, female, neither, both, or other. Gender expression slash presentation is the physical manifestation of one's gender identity through clothing, hairstyle, voice, body, etc. Sex assigned at birth is the assignment and classification of people as male, female, intersex, or another sex based on anatomy, hormones, and chromosomes. Sexually attracted to is your sexual orientation or who you are romantically attracted to. Emotional attraction is who you feel an emotional connection with. Take a minute to think about where you are on these scales or even print out this page to fill it out by hand. This picture on the screen is an example of how you can fill out the gender unicorn scales. If you have any questions about this workshop or about the other educational resources we offer or health services, or you would just like to make an appointment, you can go ahead and call Student Health Services at 562-985-4771. You can also email questions to wellness at csulb.edu. Behavioral Health Services is still offering telehealth appointments for psychiatry, case management, and trauma-informed counseling, so you can make an appointment with them by calling 562-985-2671 or through their email shs-behavioralhealth at csulb.edu. CAPS or Counseling and Psychological Services are also still doing telehealth appointments and their number is 562-985-4001. I've also included the numbers for the National Domestic Abuse Hotline and the Sexual Assault Hotline and these can be very important and necessary for either you or someone that you know so make sure that you write them down. There are also a lot of nearby sex and romance shops close to CSULB, so if you have any questions about products or their educational resources, make sure to look up the closest one near you and give them a call if you have any questions. Lastly, I just want to thank everyone who took the time to listen and participate in this workshop, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!